let's look at the next one over the next decade india can prove its potential to the world and break the perception of having a land of unfulfilled promises where do you think the error is you just have to apply a little bit of logic for this question understand the context meaning and you should be able to arrive at where the error is which part has the error so don't just stop with telling me which part has the error try and uh, explain what you understood of the context meaning why do you think that part has the error right that's what we're discussing here we're brainstorming we're learning i don't want to know the answer from you i want to understand how did you arrive at the answer what made you choose that part as the answer right over the next decade india can prove its potential to the world and break the perception of having a land of unfulfilled promises now the subject is obviously uh, india right and it says india has an opportunity to prove its potential to the world why because the world has a perception about india how is the world looking at india the world is looking at india as a land of unfulfilled promises so india is the land right which means it's not like india has a land of unfulfilled promises india is the land of unfulfilled promises promises having said that the error is in part d over the next 10 years also is fine as a as a preposition right over the next couple of hours or in the next couple of hours means the same in terms of meaning right what i'm trying to say is something that's going to happen yeah so nothing wrong with the preposition over and in but the most logical error is in part d where i need to change having to being because we're not we're not saying india has a land of unfulfilled promises the perception that the world has is india is a land of unfulfilled promises so which means i need to change having to being right that's the so it's it's the incorrect choice of word distorting meaning that's what i need to change in part d change having to being are you guys following right just to can we use decades why see in terms of meaning why do you want to change the singular noun number to a plural noun number a decade itself means what what is the meaning of decade you tell me you know what a decade is right yeah we're talking about a period of 10 years hai na so having said that why do you want to change decade to decades decade itself means a period of 10 years right more than one year so over the next decade over the next 10 years so when i when i am talking about you know i am expecting a change in the next 10 years so india has the potential to um, what do i say uh, prove the world's perception wrong right now the world's perception about india is hey it is a land of unfulfilled promises but no we want to change that perception perception matlab the view that people have about india so over in the next 10 years or over the next 10 years same meaning where we are looking at some sort of a change expecting some sort of a change yeah to gain their support you must convey them of the benefits of the proposal uh so where do you think the error is read the question as soon as you read the question you know this part is sounding awkward and you know uh, incorrect you, you you will be able to identify the part but let's see if you're able to come up with an explanation what is wrong with that part see what is the meaning that the context is bringing did you understand the meaning of the context it's saying to gain their support which means you know if i'm trying to accomplish something and i want anil and raja to support me reshmi to gain their support what do i need to do i must convey them of the benefits of the proposal if i want their support conveying is expressing but already there are so many benefits of the proposal right to gain their support meaning not like they are not aware of it but i want to ensure that they are supporting in what i'm doing which means convey is not the right word right just if i just let them know is not enough i need to convince them of the benefits of the proposal and you don't say convey them right i should convey something to someone so every every time you use convey there will there needs to be an object that follows you can you please convey this to this person can you please convey this message to this person right convey is share express pass on information but in the context the 
error is in part b where convey is not the right word because the context is talking about i want to gain somebody's support right they are aware of the benefits of the proposal but i need to convince them not convey them error is in part b change convey to convince right convince means is to what to persuade because you want them to do something right so nothing is wrong with the right pronoun there to gain their support we're talking about more than one person so that's fine you must convince them of the you convince somebody of something see the let me put the construction right one convinces somebody of something so somebody said remove of that's incorrect no it's not it's correct as a construction this is the construction you convey something to someone right because you're taking some message to this person let's put down some example sentences so that will kind of help us right you can look it up yourself but i'm going to put down some example sentences uh, either ways okay so let's say uh, the very famous thing right you must you must have heard this um, expression it, it, it's not a new expression so if i say uh, please convey our condolences to the family right what is the construction i am conveying something the condolences to the family convey to convince somebody of something right let's look at convince now i mean you you can look up your own uh, words it's not it's not you know greek or latin convince means to persuade right so i can say let's look at an example okay let me put it so i'll say uh, i'll write it here okay raj managed to convince uh, the counselor or or the council members okay of his innocence do you see that construction raj managed to convince the council members of his innocence somebody council members of his innocence the construction is that you can also say to so i can say you know convince can also be followed by the preposition to i i can say hey i hope uh, this will convince you to change your mind there it is more the infinitive form to change your mind to plus verb uh, that's a that's a different different construction but i'm saying there are possible constructions it's good for you to know these constructions right certain words how does it get constructed in a sentence is very very important so we don't identify wrong parts as the answer so what i'm trying to say is convey them of the benefits a preposition of nothing wrong there construction wise it's correct meaningfully it's correct i've given you example sentences right the error is not there the error is in the word choice of not convey but convince in part b okay government took furious action against the doctors on strike but they refused to resume work where do you think the error is and and just to give you a clue we are looking at the concept of vocabulary here which means there are incorrect word choices right depending on the meaning that the context is bringing so we saw a lot of words like you know the context was giving us a meaning so india is not having a land of unfulfilled promises india is the land of unfulfilled promises that why we that's why we changed having to being in this example sentence again we are saying hey i need your support i need to convince you so that you will help me right i have a uh, something to tell you about but i need to convince you that's when i can gain the support so not convey convince likewise in this context can you look at the context and identify if there is a word that is ineffective in completing meaning in the context what word is that and which part is that and remember errors pertaining to vocabulary is also closely related to collocations i'm giving you clues let's see if you identify which part has the error so context again for you apply collocations and and see is there a word that is not effective in completing meaning what is that word where is that word on strike is in fact uh, i would say you know a very okay you think you're not too sure all right on strike somebody can be on strike no 
it's more like an idiomatic phrase right which means if somebody is on strike which means hey they don't want to work they saying hey we can't work because we need certain uh, privileges or we need certain things conditions met then only we will resume work we will start work right so just to give you a context with on strike let me give you a context with on strike so i can say uh, most of the uh, employees were on strike right so on strike there's nothing wrong with that as a phrase it's absolutely correct conveys meaning but where else is the error resume their work means uh, to resume work is fine why do you need there it's understood right i don't need to put there even if i don't put there the the meaning is still intact there's nothing grammatically incorrect about that right to resume one's work yes but to resume work also is correct as it is i don't have to necessarily say i want to resume my work if i say i want to resume work itself it's understood my work only you following i don't need that prep, uh, pronoun there before work unnecessary the error my friends is in part a right furious action see furious as an adjective i need an adjective describing action but we don't say furious action no somebody can be furious about something because of an action as a result of an action right if i if i say if i don't publish word of the day only for you three for the next 10 days right and everybody else has action you can get furious right you can't say somebody is taking furious action somebody can take stringent action or somebody can take strict action right the right collocation so that collocation is inappropriate furious is a reaction an emotion caused as a result of an action you don't say furious action you can get furious because of the action are you following what is furious to get angry hai na you don't say somebody took angry action right what is the meaning of furious angry but what you can say is somebody was very harsh the action that they took was very severe i can say severe action i can say strict action i can say stringent action but i can't say furious action inappropriate word choice right so furious is not the word the error is in part a where i change furious to either strict or stringent or whatever government took strict action Strin- stringent action severe action against the doctors on strike but they refused to resume work so in spite of the government taking strict action severe action or stringent action still the doctor said boss hey no i don't we don't care we're not going to work right they refused to resume work so that's fine remember refused we saw this in earlier in our um, spot error certain words you know where the infinitive follows remember perceived to do something refused to do something you will have to connect the dots you know you can't look at one spot error concept and say everything is interconnected right so you need to kind of be able to connect the dots and and see is there actually anything wrong with part d no it's not yeah so you change furious to strict right so for for um, uh, errors pertaining to vocabulary like this you have to be very very careful right because you will overlook these errors you will not think that this is an error because you are not familiar with either the collocation i mean when i explain it i'm sure you understood the logic behind it right you can't take furious action you can take strict action and as a result of that somebody can get furious right simple logic okay so but what i'm trying to tell you is in order for you to be able to identify errors pertaining to vocabulary you need to be familiar with collocations as many as possible this is basically a adjective plus noun collocation right and some of the previous examples that we see again it's just applying logic india is not having a land india is the land not having being right logic yeah okay so vocabulary we have an idea let's look at our next error type you're going to tell me what the concept is 